Hi guys, I wanted to do a quick one out because so many of my friends have been going through this thing in their life. Um, I call it the you've changed phase. And it comes from all different directions. For instance, a lot of people will say, oh my gosh, your hair, I love it. What have you been doing? I'd be like, well, basically a different color every month. Uh, a lot of people who have been working out, taking better care of themselves will get the, you look great, what have you been doing? <laughs> Normally, positive stuff on that half, right? Um, a lot of people see you living a good life and they want that joy, that effervescence, that crazy hair. And they'll say, I, you've changed, I, I want what you have. And you know, then you start discussion about whatever. There's a flip side. And I find there are really only two sides where we live in a world with such a vibrant palette of gray. This is almost always black or white. White, I love your hair, you look great. What are you doing with yourself lately? Black, they changed. And it, it almost always is heard secondhand. Uh, uh, when someone breaks up, the excuse, they changed. Well, no offense, if, you, if you're not changing in your life and in your relationship, then what are you doing with yourself? It's always very, very positive or very, very negative. There's like a flock of butterflies going by. I'm sorry, I can't, awesome butterfly footage. Um, and I don't understand why it has to be positive or negative, but it's almost always positive or negative. So a lot of people have been hearing things from other people about how they've changed. Um, for instance, when you have kids, everything changes, everything changes, everything ch How many times can I say that and have people understand? I'm not sure. I didn't understand until I went through it and that's fine. Fine. No pressure. Uh, you change because you have to change. You, you have to, uh, you know, you expand your world to fit in a tiny person. Uh, you expand your heart to hold the love for your new tiny person. <laughs> and it doesn't mean you have to spit them out of your box to do so. You know, this is adopted, uh, including stepchildren, all, all sorts of things of opening your heart to new tiny people. Uh, pets, even, you know. Uh, but it's almost always negative. So-and-so changed, you know. They broke up with whoever or they got married to whoever or, you know, they lost their job. It's something changes and all of a sudden it's you've changed. And they were, of course, of course hurt by this because it was, oh, so-and-so said you've changed. And it's like, well, probably. If you've been through anything in your life lately, yes, causes change, it does. Uh, you know, whether it's bleach, hair color, what, whatever. Uh, I was told that I was, I was acting out by my ex by coloring my hair and it's like, no, I just like to color my hair. Someone who joins the gym after having a tough breakup. I, I just want to get yourself in shape and distract yourself from the emotional whatever you're going through. I get that. That's great, you know. You want to become a better person. Everyone should want to become a better person. How we go about it is, is all up to you and your path. But I want you to watch your words. If you ever have the urge to say they've changed, is it for white or black, better or worse? Um, because it seems like recently it's been bad for secondhand information for people. But I, I perceive it as a tremendous compliment because I don't want to be the person I was three years ago. I don't want to be the person I was 10 years ago. I, I want to be constantly and consistently evolving. Now, does that mean that I have multiple midlife crises? No. Does that mean that I learn a new language and travel? Great. Yes. Awesome. Oh, that Jess, she's changed, you know. Every weekend she has off. She's off doing photography at Gettysburg. <laughs> Yay. Oh, my God. I don't see how that's bad. Oh, they've changed, you know. They lost a lot of weight and now they're they're not talking to me. 
Well, maybe it's because you're a super negative person that's talking crap about people. So, <laughs> if someone has said that you have changed, take it as a compliment. I don't care how it's put out there. Take it as a compliment. Because if you're not evolving, even if you are in a solid, steady foundation of relationship, everyone changes. You might both find a TV show that you love, all right? And maybe you make time for it. Maybe you make a sacred relationship ritual, you know? It's not Netflix and chill, but you make a time to be together and watch whatever this show is. You're changing together. That's great. Or maybe one of you picks up a new hobby and the other one supports it. That's, that's change. That's great. You're evolving together, not apart. Uh, and that's a lot a lot that I see recently two people are evolving apart and it's natural for us to want to learn new things and I think some partner you don't when you have a partnership whatever kind of partnership it is you don't have to like the same things I think it's important to like different things so you can have things to discuss hey I went to class today <coughs> I'm going to the ladies spiritual discussion group on Saturday you know I've, I haven't been able to go in forever I just realize that I haven't been in months and you know if I had a partner I'd be really excited to talk about whatever it is that we're going to talk about I have a jujitsu seminar on Saturday morning morning afternoon afternoon uh and I I would want to talk about that I learned this can I try it on you yeah that sort of thing uh you know Friday I don't know what I'm doing with myself Friday maybe I'll go to yoga but the point being you have to have something you know, I, if I were with a partner, I wouldn't expect them to like yoga. I'm not a huge fan myself, but it's good for you. And if they come and try it, that's great. But as long as they respect that I enjoy going to classes, then hey, awesome. I may meet someone at jujitsu, and maybe that's the thing that we bond over. But my life may be completely different, you know, farm family. Maybe they're city people. I, I don't know. I'm just making crap up now. Um, you know. And that's we only have one thing in common. That's a little, it's a little dangerous. Only having one thing in common. You gotta, you gotta, you know, make a little more effort than that. But still an example, right? Man. So you've changed, and people don't normally come out and say you've changed unless it's positive. Oh, I love that skirt. I mean, you look really good lately. If you lost weight, you do something, you know, whatever, whatever. Or it's so-and-so changed because people will very very rarely give you bad news to your face which I guess uh, plus or minus you know it's not your business what other people think about you but when it gets back to you it can be hurtful yeah it can be pretty hurtful so I'm asking you to remember that what people say about us is a direct reflection of what they're dealing in with life so, when someone says, you've changed, or someone says, so-and-so has changed, they're probably extremely, extremely jealous that they're stuck, or they perceive that they're stuck, or that they can't change. Uh, jealousy, jealousy. <laughs> Not of this, of course, until I put the, the lovely color in. I got a brand new color. I'm really excited to try. And then everyone will be saying, oh, that dress, she changed. She looks great, magnificent, yes. Yeah, uh, don't take it personally, people, unless it's good stuff. And then, and then hold it dear to your heart, okay? I'll talk to you later. I love you. Stay strong. All right, bye.